is an artist I've always been very, very interested in. This is actually, in fact, the very first public art commission that she does in New York and in the United States. All of our commissions are fairly peculiar and specific. Her work and her artistic practice resonated so much with me, especially her treatment of material is very, very similar to the uh, materials and objects that you see on the Highland and the rails, and yet she's never literal, you know. I think she approaches uh, both the materiality of her sculpture and the tradition of public art with a very uh, ironic uh, touch, which is what I love. She always manages to twist the meaning of things in a, in a very hilarious way. These are two new sculptures that are made out of uh, I-beam uh, um, steel pieces. This one in particular is called a glyph. The other one on my back is called uh, 14. And those are new sculptures that the artist uh, assembled up here. These uh, almost reference the rustiness and the materiality of the highland itself. They almost look like something, objects that could have been found here. She conceived the whole exhibition that is called Caterpillar with a very different combination of objects. Some of them, like this one, is really uh, shiny, it's very bright, it's a very contemporary object, but in a way it also refers to the tradition of plop art uh, that she also saw when she was growing up in the West Coast. Other sculptures, the ones especially that are made with I-beams, they look almost like ruins of something that is no longer there and then asks your uh, imagination to, to make an effort and picture what that is a ruin of. While these objects are very completed, they don't really require your uh, imagination in finishing them. This sculpture is called Celeste and it's uh, one of the new sculptures that um, Carol has been experimenting with since last year. She made two new sculptures here for the Highline. They are made of uh, steel that has been powder coated in white and they look very much like almost surreal objects that almost don't uh, belong to this environment. That sometimes I think of them as UFO that just uh, magically landed in the uh, on the high line. The artist refers to them as marks in the landscape. In a way, they mark and they punctuate uh, the highland of the rail yards, almost like a sentence. These are the last two sculptures in the installation. They really function as the ending point of this sentence that Carol uh, unraveled through the space. The last one in particular is a piece that is made of concrete and brass and it's a small cube that really references the many cubes that you see around, around the highland with the many new constructions that are popping up. Carol conceived and positioned these last two pieces in conjunction with the switch box that you see in the middle. She talks about it as a ready-made sculpture. She wanted to create a sort of uh, line that draws your attention on detail that, of the architecture and of elements that you find on the highland that you wouldn't necessarily notice normally. With Carol, my hope is that for the visitor to have an art experience and to see an amazing sculptor, one of the most interesting artists working right now, but at the same time is also a nature experience and it's a, it's a, it's a urban experience. You see the city from a different perspective. It's a very human uh, perspective and yet things appear completely different.